Today we are changing the blades on an air turbine. We're going to be fitting on the carbon fiber blue blades. Alright, so we have our Silent Wind Spreco carbon fiber blue blades. They're hand laid and weighted as a set for balance and performance. They start up at a lower wind speed and they have a longer lifespan. But most importantly, they're quieter. The quietest blade that's on the market. Uh, as you know, the, the air units have two units, the Air Breeze and the Air X. Uh, same body style, this is an Air Breeze. It has Air X blades on it. Um, first step would be to remove the nose cone and the hub with the blades attached. Um, typically the nose cone will pop right off with your fingers or you can assist with a flathead uh, screwdriver. On the air turbine we have a 5 16 uh, nut that we'll use an allen key. Turning it um, clockwise will actually loosen it, it's a reverse thread. So holding the blades on we have our quarter 20 uh, bolts, loosen these, this is what the back of the hub looks like, as you can see the nuts are held in place by the casting. Again, these are quarter 20. We have two different types of hubs. This is your AirX hub. It's got two bolts for the blades. This is your Air Breeze hub. It's got a single bolt for the blades. We have your land version, then you have your anodized uh, marine version. Now assembling the blue blades, we have our Tef Gel, which is our corrosion eliminator and anti-seize lubricant. Uh, we apply this to the bolts, to the blades, and various uh, parts of the turbine, bearings, etc. So, apply this here. This is our six millimeter bolt that comes with the silent wind blades. You want to snug them up, not all the way tight. You want to assemble all the blades first and then tighten them all down. And we're going to again, apply the Tef Gel. Okay, keep in mind that the bolts that we are using on the silent wind blades are metric, whereas the bolts that come with the air unit are standard. Uh, the air turbine, they're a standard uh, quarter 20. These are six millimeters, so uh, it's gonna be slightly bit of difference in the bolt size. Uh, if you were to use the standard bolts on these blades, it'd be a snug fit trying to get them to slide through the bolt hole. Uh, so the only problem here when um, we go to tighten down the bolts and the casting is the, the, the casting is sized for a larger size nut. So we can solve that by simply inserting the screwdriver flathead to hold that 
nut in place while we tighten down the bolt on the other side. Keep in mind when you are tightening these down, you want to try to have them um, lined up in the casting all identical. If you pitch them to one direction or the other, if say these two are pitched to the right and the other one's pitched to the left, it's going to have a, a vibration. It's going to be imbalanced, so there's going to be a vibration going on there. You should tighten these blade bolts down to about the torque of 10 foot pounds. Okay, don't forget to apply your tough gel to the shaft of your magnet. Alright, so once we have our blades assembled on the hub, we're going to take and place it on the shaft of our magnet coming out of our turbine and insert the 516th nut and take our Allen key. Remember it's reverse thread, so by spinning it to the left, it's actually gonna tighten it. And we torque this down to about 50 foot-pounds. Once that's complete, we can snap our nose cone back on. We're ready to install this back on our mast. So we have available here at eMarine our uh, Spreco Silent Wind Carbon Fiber Blade Retrofit Kit. If you have an Air Breeze, you have this hub. So in order to attach your Carbon Fiber Blue Blades, you need the kit that comes with your AirX hub with the two bolts to match up with your Carbon Fiber Blade. It also comes with your nose cone and the bolts needed to attach. 